additional features on this tent, on bike tent, are the, the battery tender hookup. So I simply hook up as I drive in the battery and the tender, plug it in, and it is now on the tender. That took, what, 20 seconds to do? I've also got a light that's inside here, uh, the, which is real handy when you come home at night. There's a lot of room inside here, even though this comes down. I can almost stand up in here, and I'm 5'10", so there's, there's a lot of room if you've got a high windshield. So you've got electricity, then there's room for storage. I'm going to put some shelves on each side of the bike so that I can store anything that I want for the bike. And you can see I've got some uh, uh, stuff and accessories inside here as well. And then let's just take a look at the overall bike tent. It's handsome. Your neighbors aren't going to be mad. And then as you see, it just closes up. And snow, sleet, rain, you name it. This thing has gone through a mountain winter. We're a mile high up here in the mountains. Today is a breezy day, and you look at how stable the tent is. I mean, we've got wind warnings for our area up here in the mountains today. So you see, it, it, it handles it just fine. So for the money, what the heck, guys? You know what I mean? Take a peek at it. And it's very simple to erect and put up yourself. And then one last time, we'll open it up. And this is the biggest bike almost, you know, in the world that they make. So as you can see, there's plenty of room. You could put two uh, touring bikes in here. You could probably get three dirt bikes in here. You could get a trike in here. <clears throat> quads, probably two quads. You get the idea. It's very cool. You can use it for a multitude of purposes. Probably a jet ski would fit inside of here. Anyway, thank you very much for taking the time to look. Captain Dave out.